So there you have it. This, this is uh, the inside of the HP Dev1 laptop. And as you can see, um, it has a replaceable battery. The battery has several screws here. One, two, I think three, four should be it. So you can probably remove them and change the battery unit. Um, it's not very big, actually. It should be very easy to do, I guess. Not that the, the whole unit um, removing co the cover was a little bit harder than I thought, definitely harder than what you have on Lenovo's. First, the screws are kind of a um, unique type of screws, not the typical one, so you need to have the, the right uh, screwdriver for it. And then um, it's kind of snapped together, so you have to uh, kind of force your way in a little bit to make sure you can remove the cover. And then uh, once you're there, you can access most of the components. You can see, apart from the battery, here's the SSD, and they have a nice little protection to uh, make sure it stays uh, isolated. And once you remove this, you can see the SSD is inside there. All right, this one is a one terabyte version. Um, actually, here you have the memory unit, so the RAM. Again, you have a nice little uh, thing to put it up, and you see there's two uh, RAM modules here, uh, 8 GB each because it's a 16 GB well. First, I thought that this was going to be um, actually soldered, but those actually are upgradable, so you could potentially uh, change the RAM at some point to maybe upgrade to 32 or maybe 64. I'm not sure exactly um, the compatibility in terms of modules uh, with this particular model. And then there you have it. Uh, you can probably also remove. Uh, clean up the fan, potentially uh, also uh, the, the whole cooling unit. So um, it's fairly um, repairable, I would say, uh, based on uh, you know what you see uh, so far from other manufacturers as well. Uh, you also have here the, the wireless uh, unit, so a little uh, LAN card, or I mean wireless LAN card. Uh, so you can remove as well and change, uh, potentially upgrades. And I think that's most of what you would typically do in terms of uh, hardware uh, upgrades or changes. So there you have it. Um, not bad. Seriously, um, similar to what you find on Lenovo, uh, for example, which is well known for its modularity and repairability. So uh, a fairly decent work here to make it, um, I would say, user repairable.